hey you guys good morning welcome back to another vlog this is going to be a weekend vlog i'm here at my hair appointment today is saturday i'm getting my hair done y'all i'm gonna get it pressed and colored so i'm super excited to get it colored because i've never colored my hair like i was telling y'all in the last vlog um she said that going with a darker color will help me to um give the illusion of having more volume so i'm super excited to see what she's gonna do with my hair so yeah i just took my braid out down this morning so this is what my hair is looking like like after my braid out Hey y'all, I just got out of my appointment. I was on the phone with my sister for a minute. Y'all, it looks so good. Like she got it straight. It has a body and movement and the color I can already see makes a huge difference. It makes a huge difference because it looks so much more like finished and shiny. I love it. Y'all can see this little scab here. I need to go to the dermatologist because I was picking with that yesterday and it was like a it was like a dandruff scab y'all like and I picked it off yesterday so when she put the color on that's why it kind of stained that scab area right there so I'll just have to kind of let it fade or do something with that but it looks so so good it feels good so I'm super super happy with how it turned out so i'll leave her information on the screen or down in the description box if y'all want to check her out her salon is called pixies and unicorns and i got me a cute little silk scarf from her i don't know if y'all can see super cute so i picked that up too so i can wrap my hair up tonight but yeah you guys i am hungry i didn't eat breakfast this morning so i placed the order for longhorn so i'm about to go pick that up and then i need to go to uh hobby lobby or the dollar store because i want to get some stickers so i can decorate my sinking funds folders i got my order from amazon in so i want to go ahead and decorate the sinking funds envelopes that i have because i'll go ahead and announce it in this video but i am going to be starting a second channel it's going to be called stylo budget so i'll put it down in the description box if you guys want to follow me on on that channel it'll be all things budgeting sinking funds cash stuffing all that kind of stuff so definitely follow that channel if you guys are into those kind of videos it'll be linked down below stylo budgets i know y'all probably like hannah like where'd you get that name from i love listening to the gorillas and they have a song called stylo and i am obsessed like i saw that video when i was like a teenager and i was obsessed with the music video i was like whenever i get a dog i'm gonna name him stylo my license plate is gonna be stylo i was just obsessed with that video so that's that's why I named my channel Stylo Budgets just to give it a little edge, a little oomph. So yeah, you guys, um, definitely check out that channel. But let me go ahead and get my food because I am hung like I am hungry, y'all, to the point where I'm getting cranky. So let me go ahead and get my food. I'm gonna eat a little bit of this right now because I'm so hungry. It's 3.30 and I have not eaten all day. She offered me food, but I wanna be up in there eating people's food. <laughs> I got me a New York strip steak with a loaded baked potato and a Caesar salad. Oh, that looks good. I'm about to get me a little bit of this before I get in the road. I was going to go to Hobby Lobby, but I think I'm just going to head back home because it's getting late and I want to um, do some more work on my bathroom. 
So I think I'm just gonna head home and just run the rest of my errands tomorrow. All right, y'all, so here's the food. I got my potato, some steak and a salad. And then I got a strawberry lemonade. So I'm about to dig in. I decided I'm gonna go ahead and get a pedicure because I deserve it, okay? So I'm on my way to go to the nail salon. I'm gonna try out a new salon and see how I like it. It's really posh and cute, so I'm gonna see how I like it. It's called, what is it called? Pink Martini Nail Salon, I think. I'm pretty sure it's called Pink Martini. So I'm gonna go and get a pedicure and relax a little bit, get my feet done, okay? I haven't gotten a pedicure in a, such a long time, y'all. It is Sunday. I just finished going to the grocery store. Y'all, I'm so happy my hair is holding up. Like, girl, it's still straight at the roots, which I'm happy about. I think I'm gonna do a middle part, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. But um, yeah, I'm so happy my hair held up because y'all know if y'all watched that video where I got my hair pressed the first time, y'all know what happened. <laughs> so this is definitely an improvement, okay? But um, yeah, I'm about to go into Family Dollar because I want to see if they have any stickers so I can decorate my sinking funds folders. I'll show y'all the stuff that I got from Amazon when I get back home. And I did my nails last night too. Okay. <laughs> she kind of cute or whatever so yeah i wanted to film the sinking funds video today um i'm not sure if i told y'all but i'm starting a cash envelope sinking funds channel called stylo budgets i think i told y'all about that yesterday so definitely subscribe if you're interested in that kind of stuff so i wanted to film my first video yesterday but um i'll probably end up filming it tomorrow because i need to film the what's in my work bag video to go up tomorrow so i can have some content out for you guys so yeah definitely stay tuned for those videos and make sure that you watch and support okay but um yeah you guys it was definitely a learning curve trying to because this was my first time actually like having my cash envelopes let me show y'all so this is my first time actually using my cash envelopes so i have a cash envelope for Where's my other one at? So I have a, a cash envelope for spending money, groceries, gas, and household items. So it was definitely a learning curve, like having to use cash and sticking to my budget. Like normally when I go grocery shopping, I don't spend any less than $100. And I gave myself a budget of $75 a week. So it was a little, it was rough trying to like shop. It, not rough because that $75 is more than enough money for me. But um, it was just, like I said, a learning curve trying to figure out how to stick within my budget and still get the things that I need and want. But I'm happy about it because I know that I do need to cut down on the amount of spending that I do when it comes to food. So yeah, you guys, but let me go ahead and get in here. I'm trying to see if they have stickers. So if not, I'm gonna go to Michael's and then we gonna get us a little coffee and head back home. <laughs> All right, you guys, let me show y'all what I got real quick. So I found these really cute stickers that I'm gonna put on the binders. I hope I have enough. And then I found these really cute dog paw stickers to put on Charlie's binder. And then when I went to the dollar store, I didn't need this, but it was just too cute to pass up. I got this really cute binder for notes. And I can use this to kind of like write my scratch paper notes when I'm doing my budgeting. So yeah, you guys, I think I have everything that I need, honey, for a successful cash envelope journey. And I'm super excited. So yeah, let me go ahead and head home. I need to do some deep cleaning today. And then I need to film my video. And then tonight for dinner, I'm fixing taquitos and Mexican rice or Spanish rice. So I'm super excited for that. And that's about it. I was gonna go to Discount Tire so I could get air put in my tires, but they were closed today, so 
I'll probably do that on Monday or Tuesday. All right, let's do a quick grocery haul. So I got some sparkling water. I've been switching between this AHA brand and LaCroix. This one is really good. It has more flavor in my opinion. I got the lime and watermelon flavor. And then I picked up some V8 sparkling energy drinks. These are so good. I'm trying this flavor out, the kiwi strawberry flavor. The last time I tried, I think it was orange pineapple. That one was really good. So I'm gonna see how I like this. I picked up a couple Minute Maid juices. I don't drink these alone. Um, if I want like a sweet kick, I'll I'll mix half of this with one of my uh, sparkling waters just to give it more sweetness and then I got some English muffins and eggs for breakfast I got some household items some paper towels aluminum foil and some bleach I need to do a ton of laundry so I did get some bleach so I can wash my bedding today I got some cheese this Mexican mix and some shredded mozzarella a ranch seasoning packet because I'm making Mississippi pot roast later this week. Some sour cream, laughing cow, cheese slices to go with the crackers that I bought. I got some corn tortillas because we are making taquitos tonight, honey. And that's going to be so good. I'm going to show you how I make that. I got some yogurt for lunch, some grapes. And then for my produce, I got some cilantro, zucchini, poblano pepper, limes, onions, squash, baby carrots, lettuce. I got some chorizo here for the taquitos, as well as this chipotle peppers and adobo, some butter, pepperoncini peppers, again, for the Mississippi pot roast. The crackers go with the cheese for snack. And then I got, y'all, these are so freaking good. This Kroger brand, sweet and salty peanut butter. Y'all, these are so good. And it's only $1.50, so definitely, if you like to have, like, sweet granola bar snacks, definitely get these. So good. And then I picked up some beef sausage from Hillshire just to have for breakfast. And then I got some frozen green beans. And that's it, you guys. I have a case of water down in the car. Y'all, I was not about to bring that up. <laughs> like, I'll get that tomorrow, I don't have time. So let me go ahead and put this stuff away. And then I'm gonna do some cleaning and start some laundry. <laughs> sometime later in the evening I'm making dinner I went ahead and put some makeup on and filmed a what's in my work bag video so that video should already be up before this video I'm thinking I'm gonna upload it tomorrow so definitely check that out I did a little bit of makeup the makeup is faded now I'm in here fixing dinner y'all I am so tired and I'm so hot I have the oven going and the stove going I'm making taquitos with Mexican rice and a zucchini and squash medley let me show y'all how the rice is turning out because it looks so good and I'm about to wrap up the taquitos and put it in the oven like always I will leave the recipes down in the description box for you guys so let me show y'all what I'm working with in the kitchen all right so here's how the rice turned out y'all homemade Spanish style rice it smells so good and I have the chorizo mixture and the cheese mixture and I'm about to heat up my corn tortillas and wrap everything up, put it in the oven. And then after that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and cook the zucchini. Here's dinner, taquitos with chorizo and cheese. 
We have our sauteed zucchini and squash and our Spanish rinds, honey. So I'm about to fix me a plate. I have my V8 juice over here that I've been sipping on, honey. And I'm finna dig in. cute so i'm excited i'm gonna film i'll probably film my first video tomorrow for my um for my other channel so yeah i just want to make sure i showed you guys that before i forgot but yeah you guys i am tired i'm about to get in the bed and get ready for work in the morning i hope that you guys enjoyed this weekend vlog i really didn't do too much um which isn't typical for me. <laughs> so next time I do a weekend vlog, I'll make sure that it's lit, okay? But yeah, you guys, I hope that you guys enjoyed the vlog. If you did, be sure to leave me a comment down below. Be sure to like the video, share the video with your friends and family, and I will see you guys in the next video.